Hello there and welcome back to my blind LP of Exhumed on the Sega Saturn. This is part two. Yeah, that's sad to think of it. It's also known as Power Slave in some regions and it also appeared on the um, on the PlayStation PC. But I think they're different games. That's what I, well, that's what I'm told. So we might have to revisit them at one point. But in this part we're going to Karnak. Um, now, the reason I said about splitting these parts up is that this game is kind of unique for its time, like really unique, that um, it's actually a Metroidvania slightly, that you get to come back and revisit levels with new power-ups to um, basically unlock new paths and whatnot, it's, well, that's what I've been told, so, um, so, oh, I really don't like doing this, because I always feel like that explosion should hurt me. Oh, oh, they drop enemies too, right, yeah, we're going to use the gun then, I think. Oh, hold on. Nope, oh, wrong way. There we go. Yeah, this... Yeah, I'm not a fan of this weapon. Let's use the gun. If they're going to drop, start dropping enemies, then... Um, there we go. Might be wise to use the gun. Um, yeah, so... I'm, I'm kind of... look. I'm not sure I'm going to split the parts up, but... A Metroidvania! That's just amazing. Oh, this game's going to be awesome. I mean, it looks awesome, it sounds awesome, it plays really well. Like, look how buttery smooth this 3D is. Look at that. The camera sway and everything. Mwah. Beautiful. Like, genuinely, it's really good. Right. This is why I think, like, for sure, the Sega Saturn... How would I get that, then? I, I can jump and get that. Okay, good. This is why when people say, oh, the Sega Saturn can't th do 3D at all, I'm like, uh-uh. You can do 3D just fine. It's not as good as the, uh, as the PlayStation in some respects, but, um, still can do it. Um, anyway, right. Anything else? Actually, in can I, can I jump up there? Oh, there's something else up there. Look, it's a weirder-looking orb. Mmm. And a pathway. Well, okay, I guess... I guess we might be able to acquire a double jump at one point. Oh, that opened on its own. Oh, bird! <laughs> okay. So we've got great, we've got homing pigeons, it looks like. These are quite annoying enemies, actually. There we go. What's this over here? Oh, wait, hold on, there's another one alive, I hear it. Where is it? Oh, oh it's there. Hello. Oh, did they drop some ammo? <sighs> they never drop ammo. They always drop things that you don't need. I wanted, I wanted to examine what's in here. What's this thing? Oh, no. It's some sleeping... Aww. Some skeletons who... Uh, so, obviously, those people died when they were cuddling each other. And then just haphazardly buried in a corner of this weird room. Kind of grim, that. Right, where are we going? I'm always nervous to join those, just in case they, like, shoot out an enemy. Oh. Aha. These explode. I gathered that they explode in the last part because it was next to a wall. With an oh. Whoa, those... Those are definitely homing pigeons. How the... It, it follow... They, so the birds follow you. They, oh. Thank you for the weapon power. That's actually much appreciated. Thank you. Uh... Right, this... I bet that switch opens these doors. Yeah. So, it's a new day today. Um, oh, hold on. There we go. Uh, nothing much has happened. Just work, really, that I can't talk about. Because I... Uh, oh, get off. Um, that's one thing I miss about working in retail. You can talk about all the, all the, sh all the, all the rubbish that happens at, at work. What's that purple one? What's the purple marble do? Oh, health increase. Oh, wait, speaking of a weapon flash, though. Oh, I've got... Ah! Wait, I've got rapid fire. Cool. There we go. That's, that's what that does. It gives you rapid fire. Weapon power. Oh. Oh, I see. Let's not waste that, then. Oh. Um. Can I jump over there? Bear with me. No, it feels like... Can I make that jump? Oh, hold on. Maybe I can make it now that that, that elevator's arrived. Oh. Whoa. How do I swim? Oh, there you go. B. Okay. 
That's a bit weird. It literally just... Oh. oh, stop going underwater. Get out of it. Thank you. Um, that was a bit weird. It, um... It, when I was jumping, it... Whoa! That one actually definitely exploded, that one, then. Did you see it? Okay, so the pots can also randomly explode. Okay, you definitely need to shoot the pots, then, just in case they explode. I assume that would kill me. Or do a hefty amount of damage. Hmm. Hmm. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Bees jump, isn't it? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm very tired. I've literally had like five hours sleep. I woke up early especially so I could play this. Right, come on, let's do this. Yes, you can make it. Oh, secret. Oh, a big floating hourglass, it looks like. Oh, ah, stupid things. Oh, they can fit through small gaps as well. That's, that's nice. The symbol of time. Come on. I'll just leave them be. Right, we got ourselves the symbol of time. Is there another, like, secret in here? I've just come back from... I've just been finishing playing Doom 64, you see, so I'm pretty sure, like, there's going to be secret walls and stuff. <laughs> right. Oh, for some, some reason, sometimes you get hurt from that fall, and sometimes you don't. Weird. Right. What's this door here, then? An hourglass. Oh, 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 I see. It's a key. Those things are keys. Got ya. What's that? Oh! Blue! Mm, I was not expecting that. Oh, but, but, let me do, let me do that again, though. Look at that lighting effect! On the Sega Saturn. On the Sega Saturn. Oh, hold on, I'm getting... Die. Die. Thank you. Wow. Sorry, that, that thing there was actually causing me the most problems. But I don't mind having uh, low health, because it... Oh, that's handy. The weapon power now. Thank you, game. Much appreciated. No point picking it up. No, I can't go that way. Can I go this way, then? Yeah, I can. Weapon power completely restored. Oh. That's it? All right. Oh, it's a bit disappointing. I was thinking, like, maybe, like, uh, there'd be some cool secret in there, but... Like a new gun or something, but I guess not. There's a door here. Let's try this one. Whoa. Oh, we're back. Oh, I see where we're at now. Ooh. Oh, that... Is that a, oh, that's the camel there. Oh, I've run out of weapon power. Right, so this is the end of the stage. Yeah, let's go back check the other doors before we do that. Yeah, it's a pity that you can't, like, uh... Well, it's, it's a pity not working in retail anymore, because you had, I had some so many funny stories to tell what happened at work. Like, stupid customers who would come in and ask for things that clearly the store would not sell ever. You know. And, uh... You know, and, you know, getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning made, me, made it even extra grumpy to buy video games. I'd come back home from work, and then I would hide I went straight to like Tomb Raider. Oh, oh, I want that. Whatever it is, it's an onk. I don't know what it does. How do I get over there then? Ah, these might be a secret door. They are not. Oh, that's a shame. But that's how you're supposed to get it, right? Maybe that's what, that's maybe that what the Metroidvania, Metroidvania part of it is about. That, yeah. Unless, ah, unless we, we go through there for the doors. Oh. But yeah, I used to come, I, I come back from work. Have a day of heavy manual lifting. Ooh. And I would then, um, then I would play Tomb Raider 2. <sighs> Simpler times. I'm not, I'm not, that, ooh, what? What's that one there? That's a new one. Invisibility. Oh, right, so now enemies can't see me now. Oh, got it again. <laughs> Ooh. That's opened something up somewhere. Ah! Oh, come on. Now, what's this? 
I can't pick it up though. Don't know what that is. Maybe that's a full health boost. That's what I'm gonna go for. Yeah. Not saying my work, what I'm doing right now is uh, any, is is bad or anything. I actually much prefer what I'm doing now, but you got I can't talk about it because I'm under NDA. So there's water there, but I can't fall into it. Oh, something's beeping. Oh, the beeps tell me that the um power's about to run out. That's oh, that's nice. Thank you. What does this do then? I think that just opened. Was that a door there? I think there was a door there. Alright, I don't know what to do in that room. We'll leave that for now. This music's... Oh, this music's really good. Everything, this game is like... Has really high production values, actually. Lobot lobotomy went out of business, sadly, quite, quite, quite quickly. Then a couple of great ports then just disappeared. Which is a huge shame. Oh no, I hate these birds. They're relentless. Where are they? There's one. I was trying to kill. Never mind then. Whoa. That bird's stuck in that corner up there. Oh yes, nice weapon power. Thank you. Oh nice. Oh, triply nice. I have no idea what that bird's doing up there, bless it. And look at this. I mean, look at this right here, right? That. What is that? I love that. That there's just like a random monument here. It looks like it's been dig dug out from the ground. You don't, you don't get to see much of this like, world building in these early 3D games. Especially in FPSs. Usually it's just corridors and that was it. But this has got some great world design. It's delightful. I right, blow these up. Oh, visibility again. Ooh, weapon power. Wow, they really are giving me weapon boosts. And... Oh, this is great. Oh. Oh, oh, I've got visibility, but somehow the bird still sort of managed to see me. I just buggered off, too. There he is. Come on. Come on, then. Ha! Sod. <laughs> Oops. Right. Okay, so how do I... No, oh, I can't make that jump. Ah, we must get like a double jump or some sort. We must get something or like a ledge grab. Yeah, we must do because there's some pots up there that I can't get. That's just something to do with that. Bear with me. Oh. No, there's no elevators. Okay, cool. There's so much more of this stage we've we've yet to uncover. I think that's all the doors explored now. Okay, so it's time to exit this stage, I think. That camel. Doom boom 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 boom. Right. There was a camel down here, wasn't there? Love that. That music. Right. Uh yeah, there is the camel. What's what's around there? I want to see what's. I want to see what's around. Oh, it's just a wall there. I better jump onto the camel. Right. Okay. Will you travel to Karnak Sanctuary? Yes, I will. I think I'll call that part two actually. That as that was Karnak, and this seems like this is going to be another level. Um. What do I um stick them together? Um, no, I think I'll split them up, and then we can do, like, Karnak Revisited as, as, um, as, say, or Karnak Sanctuary and Karnak Revisited as, as separate videos, perhaps? I don't know. Yeah, we'll do it as a separate video. Oh, well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little part of Exhumed on the Sega Saturn. This was part two. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, join back for part three, where we'll be uh, exploring around Karnak Sanctuary, which sounds awesome. So, until then, take care. Have a lovely day. Stay safe out there, and uh, bye for now.